welcome back. Today I wanted to show you an updated setup of my 2019 spiral planner and a quick little plan with me. I wanted to back plan in my spiral planner because I had a really fun week with family, with the holidays and everything. So I wanted to do a little bit of memory keeping. So I'm going to do that as well. But I wanted to show you guys also what I keep in this pouch right here. This is one of the pouches from the Penspiration box. And these are just some of my most used sticky notes from Cloth and Paper. I have these little memo sticky notes with the black page marker, the memorandum, and the marble sticky notes. And I always keep these with me in case I need to do any on-the-go planning. Um, so I'll be using those. And then I'm also using some of my favorite pens. This happens to be the tool pen that I'm using right now. I just love the way it writes and the thickness of it. And then the steel blue Sarasa pen that came in, I believe, last month's Penspiration box. Um, to do some of my planning today. So I just want to quick show you guys how I've been using this. Um, in October I was using it more as a goal planner. So I have a lot of goals on here and I focused each week on a certain goal and then filled in any actionable steps I could take to complete that goal before the end of the year. So I did like diet and skincare, social media, school work, work work, um, and fun things that I had going on. So these are just some of the pages. This week I did a lot of quotes. I put in some movie tickets and I wrote down anything that was really important going on for the day if I had it be somewhere important. And then I also wrote down anything fun that I did or anything I wanted to remember. And then here is the homepage for November, which I've just been filling out as I need to. Um, this is the first week of November that I planned in here, and I really like the way it looks. It's just really, really simple. It gives you a ton of freedom and versatility, so I love that. I've been using these sticky notes just to kind of mark pages that I want to go back to if I need to reference something. And this is the week I wanted to back plan because it was Thanksgiving week. I didn't have class, and then we celebrated mine and my sister's birthday. So I wanted to just go back and plan a little bit just to kind of remember what we did. what I do is I plan out really important things that I have going on for the week ahead of time and then I will either fill things in as the week goes by or I'll go back at the end of the week or on Sunday and just fill in anything that I want to remember any important things that happened that week that will help me kind of remember the week a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and start pre-planning for next week um, I already have a couple things in there but I have another couple things that I wanted to add so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now following week with all of the major things that are going on, schoolwork that I have to make sure that I'm keeping up with, any big assignments that are due or any holidays or birthdays or anything. Um, and then I also made an upcoming list of schoolwork that I have to just keep in mind. It's not due yet, but it will be within the week or the following week. So that's how I've just been doing my planning in here is pre-planning a little bit and then going back and filling anything extra in. And that is it. This has been a really functional planner system for me and I really love that everything is just 
already printed and stuck in here. There's no opening the rings and switching out inserts. I tend to get a little bit distracted during this time of the year just with everything going on and holidays and everything that I don't necessarily have time to be printing inserts and using all of my different planner systems. Sometimes I just need to refer to a solid planner system that works and is really, really just functional and minimal. So I really love this setup just for that. I can just open up to the week and plan things down. I don't have to necessarily worry about how they look because I can always go back and fix them up later. So I've been absolutely loving this system. And since this is my desk agenda, I haven't purchased a desk agenda cover yet. Um, I've just been keeping this at my desk. It doesn't go anywhere with me at the moment, but you can also purchase the desk agenda covers to go with these as well. So I'm really, really loving this and I'm excited to continue using this in the new year. I think this is going to help me stay really, really motivated and on top of all my goals and schoolwork and my personal life. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, you can also tag us in any photos that you might have on Instagram so we can see how you guys use your spiral planners as well. Thank you again for watching and have a great day. Bye guys!